So I read a quote today and I thought I should share it with you. Now I've added some salt and pepper to the quote to spice it up but here it goes. It says, when you set a goal, you must have the intention of seeing it through to the end, like water, which does not rest till it flows down to the lower level. And what is this speaking about? This is speaking about persistence. Persistence in our goals, persistence with whatever enterprise we double into, whether it's a business, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a marriage, whatever it is that you set a plan for. Persistence, persistence, persistence. And what touched me or spoke the most to me in these quotes is the reference to water. Become water. Be like water, which persists until it goes down to the lower level. Whatever that lower level is, water does not stop putting pressure on whatever is in its way until it reaches that lower level, until it reaches that goal, until it reaches that destination. And this brings us to the issue of persistence and takes us further, if we dig deeper into it, to the issue of fulfillment. And fulfillment is everything, you understand? Fulfillment, I think, is the ultimate goal in life. Everything that we do, whether it is from an enterprise basis in terms of the work we do, whether it's from a relationship basis in terms of the relationships we keep, the people we associate with, or whether it's from a spiritual level in terms of our relationship with the higher power, whatever that higher power may be for you, the ultimate goal of human life is fulfillment. It matters more than money. It matters more than partners, like life partners, a wife or a husband. It matters more than children. It matters more than anything else. Fulfillment on an individual basis is the nirvana the ultimate goal that we should all seek. And the only way to achieve this fulfillment is persistence. To decide what that big audacious goal is for us in our individual lives and to persist no matter what the barriers may be until we achieve that big and audacious goal that we've set for ourselves. When we get to that level where we see ourselves actively working towards this goal, we see ourselves actively racking up wins then we can go to bed at night knowing that we spent our day doing something useful. We can wake up in the morning motivated because we know that we are going to set out during the day to do something useful. And when death finally comes, which is the inevitable destiny that we all share, we can die knowing that we spent our lives on something useful. And this leads to holistic health. It encompasses mental health. It encompasses emotional health. And most importantly, it encompasses spiritual health. This holistic approach to health, this focus on fulfillment, this focus on persistence for the sake of achieving our goals matters much, much more than all the other forms of health that we focus on. For example, fitness. Fitness is great, of course. I'm not discounting it, but what shall it profit a man to walk out from Monday to Friday and end up as a bodyguard? I think I'm not going to talk to him we go past my power, but I hope you get where I'm going to. 